The Pythagorean theorem is a commonly used mathematical sequence which indicates that the area of the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the areas of the other two sides also squared, working only with right triangles. In other words, when you square both of the shorter side lengths of a triangle and add the total areas up, the sum is equal to the hypotenuse squared, which is the longest side of the triangle. Hence arose the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared. For example, if you wanted to use the so-called Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse of a triangle, whose other two sides and legs each measures 2 centimeters, then you would need to do the following. First, we would need to square both the legs' measurements, and because they are both 2 centimeters, squaring both of these values would give us a product of 4 centimeters squared each. Thus, we would simply need to add both products' values to give us the area of the hypotenuse squared. So, we would add 4 cm squared to 4 cm squared, giving us a total area of 8 cm squared. So amazingly, you can now see that when you square both legs of a triangle and add them up, the sum is equal to the hypotenuse also squared. Double check your answer if you don't believe me. But then again, we haven't found the actual length of the hypotenuse, the longest side of a right triangle, as we only know the square of its value. However, we do know that the reverse operation of squaring a number is square rooting it. And coincidentally, this next step is the final step to figuring out our answer. We use the 8 cm squared total and take the square root of it to get our final answer. So, when we take the square root of 8, we get our hypotenuse's length of about 2.83 cm. This theorem is quite simple once you get the hang of it. But wait, who actually discovered this prestige formula? Probably some guy with the word Pythag in his name, right? Well, the real story behind all of this traces back to more than thousands of years before credited Pythagoras was even alive on this very earth. It was the very Bodayan that came up with this intricate sequence. Bodayan was a mathematician as well as a guru and architect of immense standards. Apart from this theorem, he also mentioned pi in his scriptures and discovered the square root of 2. Thus, would it not be more thoughtful to call the Pythagorean theorem the Bodayan theorem? Bodayan was the first and foremost mathematician to discover the concept. Nonetheless, how exactly did Bodayan find this theorem? It turns out that he wrote what is known as the Bodayan Solba Sutra, one of the oldest Solba Sutras actually written. These were scriptures containing geometry relating to fire or Vedic altar construction. After all, Bodayan was an architect. The Bodayan Solba Sutra is just like a highly advanced pocket dictionary, full of discovered formulas and results. Astoundingly, it has occurred that the theorem discovered by Pythagoras has been mentioned in the Bodayan Solba Sutra over thousands of years before him, all through an important slope. This simple slope translates to, if a rope is stretched along the diagonal's length, the resulting area will be equal to the sum total of the area of the horizontal and vertical sides taken together. This verse in the Bodayan Solva Sutra logically describes the size of a rectangle, or even a square, as we calculated earlier. Sure, Bodayan may have proven this theorem geometrically and Pythagoras numerically, but another great mathematician by the name of Apastamba had contributed to this theorem numerically, also way before Pythagoras' time. Evidently, such great Vedic mathematicians have contributed to such complex theorems and concepts way before later European mathematicians such as Pythagoras in this case. Consequently, don't you think that Bodayan deserves credit for this interesting discovery? He was the very first to show us that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and the truth about the Bodayan theorem. Be sure to like and comment down below about what you thought of the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, but most importantly, don't forget to share the astounding truth with others.